Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the St. Michael Spiritual Hour, where we believe in a positive spiritual attitude for positive spiritual attainment. This show is sponsored by St. Michael Spiritual Church, St. Michael's PSA Consulting, P.O. Box 578, Crete, Illinois, 60417. Go to drmichaelochapman.com for more information or call us at 708-752. 0895 708-752-0895. The purpose of this program is to lift people up as we lift up the name of Jesus. We want to share positive energy and stories with you to help you think, meditate, and spiritually make it. Uh, come and join us. Share this program if you'd like. We love you. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, we believe that the glass is half empty. It is not half we believe that the glass is half full. It is not half empty. We believe that the glass is half full. It is not half empty. And we love you and we, we thank you. And we send nothing but love and some, and positive energy on, on you, to you, for today and for tonight or wherever you are in the world. It does not matter. Thank you for staying up with us. We're always live every Wednesday at midnight. So God bless in central time. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you again is my prayer. Uh, we like to go to our I am's and say our um, positive affirmations uh, at this time. And we do that because as you begin to affirm these things daily, nightly, daily, uh, weekly, uh, they become a part of you and then they become a part of your uh your conscious, they become a part of your conscious mind, and then the universe responds to whatever you say. So we are we are definitely thinking about saying positive things, not negative things, but positive things uh, from now on. From now on, we're not going back to if and buts, uh, duality, maybe, maybe not, good and bad, none of that. We're going very positive from now on, okay? Things are changing. We're looking for a new a uh, new positive outlook. So God bless and God keep and strengthen you and say your affirmations. You can write them down, put them on your mirror, um, put them on your phone, um, save them uh, on your page so that you can have them ready for you every single day. All right, let's go. I am, and you can say your own, you can add your own, but I have some that I say for myself. I am uh, leading an easy life. I am great. I am honest. I am loving. I am spiritual, I am beautiful, I am handsome, I am intelligent, I am prayerful, I am sympathetic, I am healthy, I am spiritual, I am patient, I am confident, I am independent, I am successful, I am rich, I am therefore I think and I'm happy as well. Okay, so God bless and God keep you, strengthen you. Again, put that on your mirror, put that on your, uh, so your children can see it every day. Uh, things should be better, not worse. And the more positive things you say, uh, the better uh, your culture and your values change, okay? So we think about being very po- positive and saying your positive affirmations. And one thing we want to instill in, in everyone is that you have to be careful about the things that come into your surroundings, that come into your brain, uh, and uh, that come into your temple. And this is your temple. And uh, what we want to do is more positive, less negative. So if things disturb you, don't let that in. If you know things are going to disturb you, don't allow that into your surrounding, into your uh, uh, temple. Don't do it, okay? And, and sometimes you get a vibe before, you get a feeling of vibe before it even happens that people or, or things will come into your vibe and they will disturb you. So don't do it. I mean, sometimes you have to push back from the news. That might be a thing. Well, every time I watch the news, it gets disturbing. So then push back from it. Or um, things about shootings, things about uh, dying, killing, uh, some politics that are not good. So all those things that upset you, then you need to kind of push back. Don't let them in your uh, don't let them in your environment. Don't let them in your temple. Don't do it. Uh, people invade your uh, territory. Okay, you have to you have, you control that. You control your your uh, territory, your environment. And say, so, you know what? I'm not going to be disturbed by that on today. I'm going to push that back, and it's not a day for that. So you want to enjoy things that are happy. Think joys that make you serene, make you think, make you thank God, make you that make you make you a part part of the positive uh, environment. And God is. 
good. So if you say that, then you got to believe that. You got to work on that. God is awesome. No matter what's going on in the world today, God is awesome. Everybody is not terrible. Everybody's not killing everybody. Everybody's not angry. And if you're angry, you need to turn that around. You need to meditate. But to, in order to meditate, sometimes you have to um, get into a quiet place, a good place. All right. You may have to shut things off or maybe put on your favorite music. Um, put on your favorite fragrance. Um, go outside or go inside away from things that disturb you. And then find out what's really bothering me. What is it that's really bothering me? Whatever that is, Lord, I have to deal with it and then eliminate it. It could be negative thoughts as well. Things that have happened to you in your past, you have to kind of deal with that as well and say, you know what, this is not good. It's not good for me. So I'm going to release that. I am going to release that and say, I send nothing but love to that. And when you start sending that love, it, the universe responds to you on your behalf. And we're going to talk about that, about being obedient. And uh, tonight, and uh, what, the, what does that mean and how God rewards you for being obedient, for being obedient. Uh, and to get one with the master, you have to get closer to your source. So God is the source of all things. We are interpretation of God, whatever it is, is, is the source of all things. Then all things are good. And you have to draw that in to you. You, say, you know, things are not going to get worse. They're going to get better. Uh, they said, well, they're tearing things up. They're doing all this other stuff. But in my world, things are going to get better. So you got to make that a positive affirmation. Things are good. Things are wonderful. Things are better. I am healthy. I am healed. We start speaking that and the universe responds to that. So God bless and God keep you and strengthen you on today. We send you nothing, nothing but love and positivity, whatever you're going through. Um, we expect nothing but good things. So good things are on the way. All right. Uh, men, I expect you to stand up. Don't disappear when things go wrong. Don't disappear in this uh, situation that we're in today. The pandemic. Don't disappear. Uh, show up and be a uh, part of your ch your child's life. And we're going to do some. We're going to talk about some things about how can a man uh, be a part of your child's life. And you need to be that. You need to be a, a role model. In order to do that, you have to do something great. You have to do something great, and that could just be showing love, giving a hug. And remember, they do what you do. They do whatever you do. So if you're doing things that are not like him, like the source, like the master, then you need to kind of change some of that around. OK. All right. So we're into a, 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 a new what they call a new normal in terms of school. Don't be uh, upset. Don't be disturbed. There's some things you have to do. and We have to go with this. Uh, so there's some things you have to do if you're learning from a home. OK, and I'm going to give you some tips right now. One is um, understand your child's schedule. So the child has to have a schedule. If they don't, then you make the schedule for them. All right. Um, traditional student attendance and truancy policies will be followed. What does that mean? Is that you have to attend every day. You do, turn the computer on every day to check in. You do that. And parents, you have to make sure that's what they do. Okay, review and remote learning student etiquette, gu etiquette guidelines. They cannot, they cannot uh, be on uh, online with pajamas on. Cannot and any kind of hat on. All right, cannot do that. He said, "What difference does that make?" Well, you still have to teach etiquette at home. What's right and how to uh, relate to the rest of the world. Okay, in a in a positive professional fashion, no matter what grade it is. Okay, so you may want to dress them up like they are going to school. Okay, and remember, they're in front of the camera. Okay, so um, be more proactive in that. Just don't let them just wake up, roll out of bed, and get on, on the camera. Give them a schedule and the expectations that you have and then the school, school has for them. Okay? Encourage your child to get enough sleep. They have, still have to go to sleep on time. Even if they're not leaving the house, they still have to go to sleep on time. They need that energy. They need those hours. Okay, so encourage that. Communicate with your child's teachers on a regular basis, even if it's email or um, texting, whatever you decide it is. But you check on your child. Check with your child's uh, teachers on a daily basis. Uh, you want to know the good things, not just the bad things, but you want to know the good things as well. OK, so communicate that with them. Those are just some of the tips that you need to do for your students as we move into this direction. OK, God bless and God keep you. Thank you for joining me on today again. And what I'm going to do is 
what we're going to do is I'm going to say a prayer to get us started, okay? I ask the grand and seeing life force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in need of help and to restore them to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and power of God. Friend, we thank you. We send nothing but love to those who need help, those who need healing today. We lift them up in the name of Jesus. Those We come against those that are, are thinking about taking their lives right now, Father. We want them to turn around. Those that are addicted to anything. We ask that you release them in the mighty name of Jesus. We're here to, to stand tall with them right now. Those that are confused, we speak nothing but clarity in their bodies, in their minds right now, Father. Nothing but good shall come of this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's move on to our prayer list before we start going into our uh, subject on tonight. So, first we have... Uh, I was called, almost call a Reverend uh, Billy Mason and uh, Reverend Gray. God bless you, God keep you, Reverend Riley. Happy birthday to you. I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna read something to you a little later on that. Um, let's see, Angela and Betty and your family in Virginia. Uh, God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Jamia Martin, bless and God keep you. Um, River Jordan Ministries, uh, prayer. For Pastor Joy for Judy and her ministry, Aries Porter and your family, MJ and Giovanni, Vivian, Dwayne and Dean in Kankakee, Reverend Shirley Haythorn and Irma, God bless the guy, keep you, Susie, uh, Aisha Green, uh, God bless the guy, keep you, strengthen you, we miss you, um, and Joy Cervantes, uh, God bless and God keep you. Francine Lee, yes, today is your day. God bless and God keep you. Thank you for uh, your uh, letter. We got it. Thank you. We send you nothing but uh, positive energy for your program as well. Okay. So I talk about Mabel and Leona Chapman. The entire Chapman family uh, out in the South Suburbs, we send you love. Uh, the entire Chapman clan, I shouldn't say clan because people get upset about that. <laughs> the Chapman family, blessing God, keep your strength you in Mississippi, wherever you are. We send you nothing but love. The Harrelson family, blessing God, keep you. Uh, Quincy, God blessing God, keep you. Naomi, uh, we lifting you up today and encouraging you. Um, Mother Neil, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, Bless my God over everything and your new wife. God bless and God keep you. Um, Rudia, Nurse Morgan. Uh, we send you nothing but love, uh, Rudia. Nothing but love. Uh, Reverend Gray. Uh, and thank you, the Green family. God can ministries down in Cairo, Illinois. Mother Green and Zach Green. And Celestia, congratulations for your new uh, teaching certificate in your new position. Bless you. We send you nothing but love as well. Um, Pastor Baker, circle of praise. Thank you for your prayers. Calling and praying for me. Uh, Sears Sims in Kansas City, El Shaddai Miracle Temple, Daisy Martinez, and we send you nothing but love and prayers for your husband and for your um, mother. God bless and God keep you. Uh, Pete and Kankakee and Alonzo Cephas, uh, Reverend London, we send you nothing but love. And all the Michelles, God bless and God keep you. Michelle in Alabama, Michelle uh, in Phoenix, and my entire Phoenix family, God bless and God keep you. Barbara Chapman, uh, I think it's Jam Productions. You got to send me that information. Um, God bless and God keep you in that family as well. Uh, Aunt Margaret, what's her last name? Yes. Faust, Margaret Faust. Uh, Aunt Janice Fleming, God bless and God keep you as well. All right. If you like to be, uh, if you like to be on our on our prayer list, you can email us at Michael O P S A at gmail dot com or go to Dr. Michael O Chapman dot com. Uh, and uh, we would appreciate that. We'll put you on our prayer list, okay? And we, it, it costs us absolutely nothing, but we are here to help you and go through, okay? So, blessing God, keeping and strengthening you. 
is my prayer for you on today. We're going to talk about, uh, I got a little bit of time left. Oh, my time is moving on. Um, obedience. And what does that mean uh, for obedience? But before we go there, if you'd like to make a donation, uh, please uh, write us at P.O. Box 578, Crete, Illinois, 60417. Or go to our uh, Facebook page, drmichaelchapman.com with Zale. Uh, Cash app and all of that. All right. God bless and God keep it. So, um, when we were, when I was coming up in church, um, part of our opening at church was to, uh, bless this to you, Reverend London and uh, Reverend, I call you Reverend Billy Brooks Austin, <laughs> but Minister Brooks. God bless and God keep you, uh, Reverend London. Congratulations on your new house. Uh, am I still on? Okay, and uh, we send you nothing but blessings. Just keep on doing what God has for you to do, is my prayer. Okay, so when we were coming up uh, in in church, um, we part of our service was to, huh? part of our, hold on a second, just a minute, technical difficulties here. Part of our, uh, Part of our service was to say the uh, Ten Commandments every Sunday. That was part of our service. Every Sunday, uh, a pastor would come down the center of the aisle and say uh, the Ten Commandments. And I was wondering when I was young, I was like, why are we saying the Ten Commandments every Sunday? And uh, as you get older, you begin to think, so it can be part of your life. So you can, uh, when you go to do something that's not part of the Ten Commandments, you won't do it because you understand that that's something that you're not supposed to do and you should follow the Ten Commandments. Uh, and that's why I was like, wait a minute. We're saying this every Sunday. Uh, we should know them. And some of us knew them and everybody didn't know them, but... Uh, it became a part of our life, okay? It became a part of our life. So, I'm going to read to you the blessings for obedience. And that's in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And I was reading this, and I said, you know what? Some people may not know the Ten Commandments. And I cannot uh, assume that everybody knows them because... We had to do this, and everybody didn't have to do it. Other churches, they didn't. So I cannot assume everybody knows what the Ten Commandments. They are found in Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter. And you can start at the first verse, but it starts at the sixth uh, verse of Deuteronomy, of the fifth chapter. So you know where they are. And I'm going to read, I, I'll read a couple. So I want you to find them, because we, we'll talk about them. But... Um, we're going to talk about the reward for being obedient. Okay, obedient. I am the Lord your God who brought, this is the fifth chapter of Deuteronomy. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You should, out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You should have no other gods before me. You should not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or in the earth beneath, or in the waters under the earth. You should not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, punishing the, the children for the sin of their fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. You should not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath day to the Lord your God. On it you shall, do, you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor in any of your animals, nor the alien within your gates, so that your manservant and maidservant may sit, reset as you do. Remember 
that you were slaves in Egypt and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outreached arm. Therefore, the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. Honor, you shall not murder. You, somebody said I should read that again. You should not murder. You should not commit adultery. You should not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You should not you should not set a desire on your neighbor's house or land. His manservant, his maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These are the commandments of the Lord proclaimed in a loud voice on your hold as assembly. There are mountains from out of the fire. Now, <coughs> that the, that is the fifth chapter, the starting at the sixth verse through the 21st verse. Those are the commandments. So if you don't know them, that's where they are. You should read them. Uh, and I think uh, we should not assume that everybody knows this because they don't. Okay. The twin am I still Hold on. Just not having a bad time. Come on now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. God bless you, Brother Smith. I'm back? All right. Should I end it and start again? Blessings for obedience. The now I'm gonna go to the twenty eighth chapter. Twenty eighth chapter. We have a technical difficulty, but we're gonna make it through the twenty eighth chapter of Deuteronomy. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands I give you today. The Lord your God will set you above, high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks, your basket and your kneading through trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord 
will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your bonds and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. You say, how can that possibly be? Well, you have to obey. You have to do your part. You have to obey. Um, and he will do this. These are the promises that the Lord has. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you an oath. If you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. Not that you want to be feared. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity. And they wonder how you got it, where you get it from. How can you be blessed? Because you're obeying God's commands. All right. Um, the fruit of the womb and the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground in the land he swore to your forefathers to give you. Not just you, but your family as well, okay? The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You say, why, why is he or why is she so blessed? And I'm not. Everything they touch seems to be okay, seems to be blessings. Well, it's because you obey God and you obey these commandments. You're trying to live right, positively. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Does it happen overnight? Now, I'm telling you, we, we heard these uh, the Ten Commandments while we were growing up in the church every Sunday, 52 times a year. So we were not perfect. We were not perfect. And that I think that's one of the reasons we had to do this every Sunday because it becomes a part of you and a part of your life. When you go to do wrong, you go to, to do something outside of the Ten Commandments. Outside of those commandments, something inside of you says, no, that's not right. That's not what you're supposed to do. So it kind of kept you in line. All right. The 13th verse said, the Lord will make you the head not the tail. Uh, if you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top. Always be at the top, never at the bottom. So you will get, you will get the um, appointment. You will get the raise. You will be elevated. You don't have to worry about that. As long as you're following these the commandments, it's in the word. The 28th chapter of Deuteronomy. So uh, put those things first and God will bless you. You won't have to worry about being at the bottom. You don't have to worry about being mistreated. You don't have to worry about any of those things. Those God has blessings just for you and your friends, your relatives, your, your enemies, uh, all of them, your co-workers wondering, how is she blessed all the time? How is he blessed all the time? Because they're trying to live right. Because they're trying to live right, okay? Uh, do not turn aside. Now, here's one. <clears throat> do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today. To the right, to the left, following other gods and serving them. So have you, and that's, that's the 28th chapter. Now there is a, a part that said, why don't you read the, the curses? No, but in this chapter, it gives you curses for disobedience. I'm not putting that out there. I need you to read that for yourself. Okay, uh, why things aren't working out for you? Why things aren't the way they're supposed to do? Maybe you should try living right. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're trying to be holy. You're just trying to do the Ten Commandments, okay? And there's nothing wrong with being holy, all right? You're not pointing your fingers. You're not You're not uh, uh, judging. You're just trying to do what you need to do to straighten your temple out, straighten your temple out. Now, if you want to read the curses, if some people need that, then you read the rest of it, all right? Starting at the 15th verse. But for us today, we're focusing on being obedient and the Ten Commandments for that. So I'm saying to you, uh, 
I love you. You need to love yourself. You need to kind of, uh, now this is a personal thing because you need to work on you. You do. And if you get out of line, go get out of line, go back. Read the Ten Commandments again. And Jesus said, just love yourself. Okay? Love others like you love yourself. Um, I heard somebody say, uh, I think it was tonight, that to speak to someone the way you want to be spoken to. Uh-oh. Okay. And that's something that you need to think about. Well, do you like you like being yelled at? No. Well, don't yell at other people. Do you like to be cursed out? No. Well, don't curse out everybody else. Uh, you want to be loved? Then send some love out. Okay. Uh, and, and God, your angels, the spirit comes to you in still small voice. You may want to try that. Okay. Love and kindness have I drawn thee. So uh, try love and kindness and change during this during this time where everything else is changing as well. So don't be stubborn. Don't be saying, I'm not moving. That's being stubborn. I want to move spiritually. I want to do things better. I want things better for me. I want things better for my wife, for my family, my church, uh, everybody I'm concerned with. I'm sending out love. I do. I want to send love. I want all those things. So work on yourself. Uh, the Ten Commandments. Try them. So I, I got all of them but eight. Then try the last two. Okay? All right. And it's about taking care of yourself. So I want you to send that out today. And work on yourself. Treat uh, other people the way you want to be treated. Um, love yourself. You will, Don't worry about being on the top and bottom. You will always be on the top. And there's nothing anybody can do about it because God's going to set you up there. Not for your ego, but because that's where he wants you to be. Okay, that's where he wants you to be. And you should be all right with that. So send love uh, and don't be upset. Don't be stressed. Um, you can't be stressed and trying to help somebody else. I'm encouraging you that on today. Okay. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. Sorry for our uh distractions on today, but uh so the blood of Jesus we're gonna we're gonna go through. And I appreciate your support. I appreciate your love. I do. I send you nothing but love, nothing but uh uh good thoughts on today. Help your children, help anybody you can during this time. Can they misuse you? Yes, they can, but they'll pay for that. They'll pay for that. So, uh, but don't worry about that. There are other people that don't even know you that send you love. Uh, people that uh, need your help today, send them love, need prayer. Uh, can there be too many prayer lines? No, they cannot. All right. Uh, as long as one is helping someone else, one line is helping another person, that's all right. All right. And we continue to pray for uh, the world, our leaders. We Continue to pray for the, all of them. They need our prayer. They do. They need our prayer. And we send them nothing but love as well. So God bless and God keep and strengthen you again and forever is my prayer. As we close, I'm going to um, I'm going to read uh, I'm going to read this because it's not it's not easy for everybody. It's not easy for everybody. But uh, I'm going to read this poem. And it's called God Make Me Brave. It is for 52 Things to Cultivate. You can get that on lulu.com, amazon.com, Barnes & Noble. Okay, 52 Things to Cultivate. Um, it says, God make me brave. God make me brave. God make me brave for life. Oh, braver than this. Let me straighten after pain as a tree straightens after rain. Shiny and lovely again. God make me brave for life, much braver than this. As the blown grass lifts, let me rise from sorrow with quiet eyes, knowing that way is wise. God make me brave. Life brings such blinding things Help me to keep my sight. Help me to see all right. That out of darkness comes light. God bless and God keep you instructing me. Is my prayer for you. Make you brave that you can do these commandments. And if you read them daily, some of you don't have to, but some do. Read them daily and it becomes a part of you. You can almost recite them. Um, and then try to live by them. That's my prayer for you on today. All right. God bless and God keep you and strengthen you. We have an anniversary coming up for uh, 
Little the Valley Spiritual Church, 257 West 48th Place in Chicago. That will be uh, August 23rd at 3.30 p.m. Monday, August 24th, 7 p.m. And Tuesday, August 25th at the Sanctuary. Okay, they are um, asking you wear a mask and uh, social distance. Okay, and Pastor Riley, happy birthday to you. Family fun, cookout, music, and praying, August 16, 2020, Sunday, 2 to 6 p.m. Where? 1423 West 69th Street, outside. Uh, so it will be uh, social distancing, wear a mask, and it will be, uh, we're trying to uh, do things so we can be healthy and we can be safe. And I implore you to do that. All right, so good. Again, God bless you. I keep you. Thank you for your donations. We appreciate that. Go to um, Michael O. PSA at gmail.com for sale and um, cash app 708 uh, Also, you can go to drmichaelochapman.com, a website, uh, for more information making a donation. But we appreciate your support all over the world. Again, we send you nothing but love and peace. And we love you and thank you uh, for joining us today, Reverend London, Billy Brooks, uh, Richard Smith, and all those who chimed in on today. We love you and we'll see you next time. Okay. Was it?